Our local coverage continues now. Tomorrow, both the House and Senate Labor Committees will hear binding arbitration bills. If passed, these proposals will change the way disputes are solved between school communities and labor unions. It's a hot-button issue that's generating lots of controversy at the Statehouse. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen has more details live in the capital city with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. A bill set for discussion and votes tomorrow is causing a fierce battle between school officials and teachers unions. A bill being looked at by labor committees in the House and Senate would change how schools and unions settle their contracts. Tim Duffy with the Association of School Committees says it won't benefit taxpayers or students. All of those issues involving student learning and student achievement may be put on the wayside by an arbitrator looking purely at fiscal issues like salaries and benefits. In the bill, if union and school committees can't come to an agreement, a panel of three arbitrators can make a binding decision even when it comes to money. That has Duffy concerned for cash-strapped cities like Central Falls. The last thing they need is an unfunded mandate uh, that's going to be imposed on them through binding arbitration. Right now, if there's an impasse, the two sides are forced to hash it out over time until they agree. Advocates say binding arbitration will smooth that process by having a third party come up with a final solution. It will force the school districts to go into deficit spending if this bill passes. Deficit spending is illegal. You might as well shut out the lights. Lisa Blaze with the Rhode Island Tea Party claims arbitrators will side with the union every time because they're private citizens and not elected officials who have to answer to taxpayers. Only goes to put more money into the pockets of the adults. That does not make quality education. And although this bill speeds up disputes, Duffy says the bill is lacking when it comes to education. There's nothing near safeguarding students, and that I think is a priority. The bill's sponsors did not return our phone calls today, and the hearing for the bill will take place tomorrow at the Statehouse. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.